Hey guys, John here. Welcome back to the series, How to Use Diva. This is video 21, and today we're talking about our last effect, the rotary. So this one is an emulation of the Leslie rotary cabinet, and it's kind of cool. So let's right-click here and go to a knit preset here. Let's take down oscillator 2 and 3 out of the mix and increase our cutoff. So we have something kind of like this. Now on the effect slot where it says course 1, let's select that and go to rotary number 1. So again, this is what it sounds like dry. And by default, if we turn this on, So the first knob that we're going to be greeted with is called mix. Now this is combining the balance between the processed and the unprocessed signal. So all the way to the left is basically if we had the effect off because we're just listening to the dry signal, right? Now as we turn this to the right, we're getting a mixture of the processed signal. And to the right of this is called out. And now this is basically the output of wherever this mix knob is in the... Uh, in the mix, I guess. To the right of that, we have a stereo knob. Now this is the stereo width, or as the manual says, think of it like microphone separation. So all the way to the right is kind of how it comes by default. So set that one to taste. Next up we have balance. Now this adjusts the volume of the horn and the bass. So to the left is more so of the horn sound. And to the right is the bass. So if we played maybe a higher note and a lower note, like an octave, some kind of like this. We can get some nice interesting balance for that. So before we get to rise time, this slow and this fast is kind of interesting here because the slow is going to be obviously the slowest motion and that's going to be controlled for the moment right now from our mod wheel. So the lowest our mod wheel is going to be is where this is going to be sitting at this speed. Now, since we're not using our mod wheel right now, we can increase the slow and have it move something like that. Now, according to the manual, this is anywhere between 10 seconds and 0.2 seconds. And we can modulate this, like I said, with the mod wheel, although we can always click this and go to control A, control B, or pressure from our keyboard. Now, control A and control B are kind of interesting because if we go here into the settings here and go to the preferences, we can see control A default and control B default, and we can select these and we can choose whatever number or whatever path we want. You know, we can change this to CC3 or the foot control, portamento, volume, so on and so forth. But just so you know, if you want to change the control and control, control A and control B, that's going to be found in the preferences section over here. So yeah, I thought I'd mention that before we moved on there. So the lowest modulation spot is going to be the slow, and then the highest modulation spot is going to be the fast. And anywhere in between is kind of how you would just move that modulation, and you would get a simulation of that motion over there. Now for this one, similar on the other effects, we have different modes, right? So this comes by default on normal, and now this is going to be horn and bass speakers rotate independently. If we select this and then we go to the sync bass, the horn and the bass speakers are phase locked. Last up, we have no bass, so this turns the bass speaker off. So that's quite a drastic difference there from sync bass and then to no bass. And last but not least, one of the coolest things is we have a drive knob over here. So this is nice too, because we can increase this here and get some nice saturation out of this. But keep in mind, this distortion here is highly dependent on the input signal. 
So if we want to get some more of that, we can always increase this amplifier pan. And this is a good spot where this kind of comes in handy if we want to drive it a little bit more. And then we turn down the main output to compensate for that. So yeah, very cool effect. Um, hopefully you learned something and thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.